hello guys welcome back to the channel once again today i'm super super mega excited to be sharing this video with you guys because i really want to share this very good but also interesting storyline of victoria in this case alicia and diana so basically there's a whole romance going on you know when it comes to victoria first she has a romance basically with diana and then she has a romance also with alicia but before we get into further details and actually discuss everything that have developed between all these three women Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And if you have also watched basically the telenovela called Amar es para siempre, please let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Because like I always say, your opinion does matter and feedback is very, 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 very important. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe and let's get right into further details said it's a telenovela and it's called Amares para siempre it's a Spanish telenovela that looks at the economic revelry of the Spanish society observed during the 1960s the stories of various characters with special emphasis on the love story between Agnes and Mauro but we're not gonna be focusing on that so who is Victoria Victoria is a successful woman and designer that actually works for her wealthy, wealthy family. Yes, she comes from a family that owns this company of designers and, you know, they are very successful in Spain. So basically, Victoria was on board studying, you know, working for different companies and just perfecting, you know, her professionalism. So when she came back, her father actually told her, hey, you know, I feel like now you are in the position to actually take over the family business. And of course, that is a very, very big responsibility for Victoria, you know, so she put herself under a lot of pressure. And yes, she's kind of a workaholic, like she works a lot 24-7 because she knows the responsibility that she has when it comes to her family business. And who is basically diana diana is a model that victoria actually ends up meeting while she was in london so they end up building this relationship and just getting very very close to one another so later on basically victoria asks you know alicia to come with her to spain so they say we're having like their situation in spain you know just loving each other and also at the same time you know diana she was very very supportive towards victoria in this new path that she's on but she can also see how much victoria goes through in order to keep her job going she was starting to you know take stuff that she wasn't supposed to take it later on make her very ill so basically you know diana she was just very worried when it came to victoria's mental health so later on you know at this point, we can see that Victoria, her mother, doesn't really like her relationship with Diana. So her mother decided to take matters into her own hands and actually told, you know, Diana, hey, I have a proposal for you. This is what I'm going to give to you. I'm going to promote you for you to get model works in London so you can go away from my daughter. I don't want you to be my daughter's life. You know, you don't do good for her. You can interrupt her. She has big responsibilities when it comes to the company. So it's better for you to go. And of course, Diana didn't want to go, but she ended up, she was actually forced to go. So she ended up going. And of course, Victoria didn't know later on. She found out what happened. So she ended up reaching out to to Diana. And but Diana told her, hey, come, come to London with me. We can restart life together. And of course, Victoria told her, no, I can. But then later on, you know, Victoria apologized to Diana, sent for her to give her a second chance. But at that point, it was already too late. And then unfortunately, 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 in this case, Diana end up suffering an overdose and end up passing away and that of course it really broke Victoria's heart because she was at a point where she was trying to fix her situation with Diana and probably for them to get back together. So at that point, you know, Victoria blames her mother for everything because her mother is the reason why Diana in this case left, you know, Spain to go to London and that the the fact that she was in the situation that she is on, she was trying to get revenge on her mother. So how does Alicia come in the picture? So basically, while Victoria was grieving and just going through all this motion by losing the love of her life, you know, she and Alicia starts to, to get closer and closer for with more, with with one another basically just being like a support system so alicia she's a lawyer and she also is someone who have decided to start a business with victoria in the designing area so she actually ended up proposing her a very very good business deal and of course victoria ends up accepting it even though she felt like she wasn't ready for it because she's still grieving the passing of the love of her life and she still has a responsibility of the company but she still have decided to accept it, you feel like it would be a good thing for her, you know, just to have something else going on for her besides the company, just because family business was starting to be very, very tricky for her. So the two start to get very close. And then, of course, 
they end up kissing but at that point you know alicia mentally wasn't there but later on alicia was actually the one who made a move towards in this case victoria and of course victoria was very very surprised when she did that because she didn't expect her to make a move on her but later on the two loki started i won't say they had a relationship they had a fling going but as the telenovela progresses you can see that alicia got herself into a situation and also you know uh, her personal life also affected her and basically she came to old victoria and told victoria that she's gonna leave spain as well and she actually asked victoria to go with her that they can you know start a life together in new york because she actually received a very very good job opportunity there and it would be very good for them just to have a fresh start together and of course once again victoria was like no i can go i have a lot to do here you know i have to revenge everything that my mom did when it came to Diana and I also have you know to make a lot of things clear here I can't just abandon everything you know I have things to do I owe a lot of people a, a lot of things and I want my revenge basically on her mother so yeah that's the story so Alicia basically end up leaving Diana unfortunately passed away Victoria is still going through the motions of basically losing two of the women who she really was failing for and the other one being the love of her life so once again she's heartbroken hopefully she will meet someone new very soon i feel like that would be very good but first i want her to really heal from diana because you can see that she really wanted to be with diana like alicia was someone that came in the picture unexpectedly and basically showed her that romance again but the woman that she really loves is diana you know and the fact that diana left her like that was very very shocking to her <clears throat> because she was making plans for them you know she wanted a future she wanted them to do things together to grow to succeed and all of that and that unfortunately wasn't the situation for so, them. So yes, guys, once again, like I said, if you have any interest in following the telenovela, I would highly recommend you all to go watch it. I really do hope that Victoria ends up getting, you know, what she's looking for. And hopefully she does get love again, you know. And the fact that her mom had, literally her mom had no business to go into her personal life and decide what she wants and what she don't, you know. And it's very, very unfortunate that Diana had to go out that way, you know, that that had to happen to her because that really, really broke Victoria because Diana was like her rock, her escape, the person that made her go, the person that understood her no matter what. So that was very unfortunate. Alicia had to go away. I get it. You know, she had a lot to resolve in her own personal issues. So, yes, I will hopefully keep you guys updated regarding the storylines. I wanted to do a video later on but i've decided to do it now because i feel like you know victoria she is gonna be single for a while until this whole situation this whole trouble that she's going through with the company with her mother you know uh comes down i don't feel like she will meet anybody maybe yes maybe not i might be wrong but if you guys have more details please let me know down below in the comments so yes guys that's basically it Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And I also want to say that I've activated the super stickers to the channel. Just in case any of you would like to make a small donation. It will help us out a lot and basically take the channel to the next level. Thank you. Thank you so much for all the love and all the support. Until the next video and goodbye.